Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the gradient map adjustment layer to color grade your photos using Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to the channel. So the gradient map adjustment layer is an incredibly powerful adjustment layer when it comes to color grading your photos. So today I thought I'd create a video showing you how it works, but also a few tips and tricks I've learned along the way that makes it a lot simpler and quicker to color grade your photos when using the gradient map adjustment layer. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Right guys, so before we go ahead and actually edit this photo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this gradient map adjustment layer works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up a simple black to white gradient in Photoshop. So what we need to do is go firstly, just go ahead and open up the gradient map adjustment layer. So in the bottom right hand corner, you've got your adjustment layers layers. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go click and we're gonna go up to gradient map. Now, as you can see, a gradient map overlays a particular gradient using the luminosity of each pixel on the photo. So, as you can see our gradient here, we've got all of our shadows found on the left-hand side. We've got all of our mid-tones found in the middle. And then on the right-hand side, we've got all of our highlights. And if I simply create a black to white gradient, you can see how that overlays onto our gradient behind it. Because our gradient is a simple black to white gradient, you can see how it implements colors onto the photo. Now, obviously that changes depending on what's beneath the layer. So for instance, if you've got a photo that's variety of different colors, variety of different brightnesses, that will actually change and map out the photo and overlay a gradient to that, hence the name a gradient map. So as you can see, if we want to add red to all of the black tones in the photo, we can go ahead and choose the left hand side. You can see where it's black. We'll go ahead and select red. So I'm gonna choose red here. Let's go ahead and choose a nice red. And as you can see, that has mapped out all of the red tones onto the black and shadow areas. And then we can click OK to actually implement that change. And then if we want to add, let's say, blue to the highlights, we can go ahead and select our blue highlights. We're gonna go ahead and click, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in a blue hue to that. And then we can go ahead and click OK to implement that change. So as you can see, we have got a red to blue gradient mapped over a simple black to white gradient. So now you understand how this adjustment layer works by mapping out, depending on the luminosity of each pixel beneath it, Let's go ahead and add this to a photo. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this and let's open up our first sample image of the day, which I got from unsplash.com. Right, so let's go ahead and open up that gradient map adjustment layer. So go back to the right hand side, bottom right hand corner, click, and then we're gonna go ahead up to gradient map. Lovely, so let's go ahead and open up our gradient editor. Now at the top, you've got a variety of presets, but what I like to do is often creating a custom gradient depending on what style of photo you're working with. So for this type of photo, I want to create more of a sunset look. So we're gonna add in some sunset colors that you can find organically, especially when it comes to sunset style photography. So that is very orange, yellows, and more warmer tones. So that's what we're going to be adding into this photo. So firstly, let's go to our shadow areas. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add in a nice blue to the shadow areas. So we're gonna go for something like so. And then I'm gonna click OK. And then I'm gonna to go to our highlight areas and we're gonna go click on that icon and then I'm going to go ahead and choose yellow for this example. So as you can see, we've created a simple gradient from blue to yellow. And if I go ahead and click OK, you can see that it has mapped out the photo to where all the shadow areas and highlight areas are is where you can find those specific colors. But it's kind of ruined the photo and it's not looking correct at all. That's because what we're going to do is now change the blending mode. Now there are a few blending modes that work really well with the gradient map adjustment layer. So we're gonna go choose our blending mode options and all the ones that you can find between overlay and hard mix are called your overlay blending modes. Now these blending modes actually change and manipulate the colors beneath it using the layer that you've added. So it's really easy, just think of it like a pane of glass. If you've got a slight tint to the pane of glass, 
it's going to change the colors behind it. So it isn't a direct change, it mixes the colors beneath it to create a brand new color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose the blending mode overlay for this example. So as you can see, the colors are now starting to bleed through from the background with an overlay of the color that we've added and it creates this really cool effect but as you can see it's incredibly strong it's a bit too uh contrasty for this particular photo so what we can do is actually just simply reduce the opacity of this layer so i'm going to go to my adjustment layers icon which is this one here gradient map and i'm going to go ahead and go to our, our opacity and i'm going to go ahead and drop that down and I find around 30% works for most photos, but do play around with the opacity to see what works best with your photo. So you can see we do the before and we do the after, and we've added in quite a lot of blue to the shadows and this really nice kind of warm yellow effect to the highlights. But what happens if you want to add more than one color? Well, you can do this and you can actually add hundreds of colors to a gradient map all depending on where you add them. So let's go back to our gradient map editor. So let's double click on that gradient map and let's go ahead and just clip on the gradient and it opens up our gradient editor. Now, as you can see, we've just simply got two colors here, but once if you want to add more than that, well, what you can do is just beneath it, you have a different icon displayed on your mouse. This, if you click, this will actually add a new color to your gradient map. And you can add as many as you like, as you can see. But let's just add three for this example. So let's delete all of those. You can click on them. And if you press delete, you can go ahead and delete them like so. Let's go ahead and actually change the middle one to let's say an orange color to add a little bit of difference between the blue and the yellow, create a little bit more of a seamless gradient. So let's go ahead and click on that and let's go ahead and add in a nice orange. So let's make it a little bit more saturated. Now, depending on where we add it, well, depending on how it affects the photo. So if we drag it over to the right, it's gonna be affecting less of the midtones and creating a cooler theme to the photo. If we go ahead and drag it over to the left-hand side, you can see it's actually creating a larger difference in creating more of a warm tone. That's because it's overpowering a lot of the shadows, creating a warmer tone to it. So you can move these around until you are happy with the results. And you can actually choose a specific location choosing your location percentage icon at the bottom here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose 35 for this example. And as you can see, it has drastically changed the photo. So if you go ahead and click OK, you could do the before and you could do the after. And as you can see, I am really happy with the results. But this isn't just possible with landscape photos. You can also do this with portrait photos as well. And I'm also gonna show you a quick trick on how to do this, but a hell of a lot quicker using a gray point. So let's go ahead and just cancel out of here. And let's go ahead and open up sample two, which is this photo, which again, guys, is available on pexels.com. And the link to both of the photos will be in the link in the description. So we've got this photo here, which is predominantly white with the model in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from a gray point and then add in colors, because if you go ahead and add gray and change the blending mode, especially 50% gray, all of the colors will be invisible. And then you can add in. So let me show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and add in a gradient map adjustment layer. So bottom right hand corner, gradient map, and let's go ahead and choose second to bottom. So what we're gonna do is double click on here and on the left hand side, what we're gonna do, this is our darkest pixels. We're gonna go ahead and choose a hue of zero, a saturation of zero, and a brightness of 50%. And we're gonna do exactly the same for the highlights. So we're going to go ahead and click on that icon and then we're going to go ahead and choose zero for hue, zero for saturation and 50% for brightness. So we've got this completely gray photo you can see here. So what we're going to do now is change the blending mode. Now, again, guys, if you choose one of the blending modes that I recommend, all of the gray in the photo will completely disappear because that is how the blending mode works. If you add in complete gray, then there will be no transparency to that particular layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to that blending mode and I'm gonna drop it down back to overlay again. And as you can see, that layer has now gone completely transparent because on the overlay blending mode, 50% gray is completely transparent. So what you can do then is click back on the gradient editor, 
click back on that layer and go ahead into your editor or your color picker. And now you can start adding in color and seeing how it affects the photo without immediately jumping into a specific gradient. And this is a lot quicker and it's one of my favorite tips when it comes to actually using a gradient map. So let's go ahead and add in a purpley color to the background. So let's start off choosing the hue. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a hue of 285. And then as soon as you drag this little icon out, you're adding in color to the photo. So if we want to oversaturate the photo, drag it over to the right. If you want to brighten it, drag it up. If you want to darken it, drag it down. And you can actually drag it around until you are happier with the result. So I'm going to go for, let's go for about here. And because we've got gray as our highlights, we're not affecting them at the moment. So we're only affecting the shadow areas. So you can really dial in the right color for yourself when it comes to just targeting all of the shadows. And we're gonna do exactly the same for the highlights. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK on that. I'm happy with that gray. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and choose the gray point on the highlight area. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose a new color. And again, always choose the hue first, and then you can start moving it around on your color picker tool to get the right saturation and brightness of the color that you've chosen. So then I'm gonna go ahead and choose a orange color for the highlights. So now you've chosen the right hue, you can now start dragging this around and aiming for what look you after. So again, guys, if you want to saturate the image, drag it over to the right. If you want to desaturate the image, drag it to the left. If you want to brighten the image, drag it up. And if you want to darken the image, you drag it down. And depending on where you drag it, or depending on what particular effect you will end up. So I'm gonna create a little bit more of a stronger effect. I'm gonna change the hue ever so slightly. I'm gonna go for something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it a bit brighter. I'm gonna go for something like so. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So as you can see, we've started from a complete gray point and now we've implemented colors, but we've been able to see how we've been doing it by changing the blending mode first before we choose the colors. So I would recommend working this way than working backwards because you'll find it's a lot quicker and you have full control of changing the shadows independently from changing the highlights. So you can firstly target, target the shadows, then you can target the highlights. And as you can see, we've ended up with this really nice gradient. And then you can go ahead and move this midpoint around depending on where you like the shadows and highlights to fall. So I'm gonna go for a 45% drop. So the location of this is 45%. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now if we zoom in, if we do the before and we do the after, you can see that was a really quick change and it's a really cool look, especially when you think it only took about five minutes and you've only used one adjustment layer. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can use the gradient map adjustment layer to create a really cool color grading effect. And remember, guys, that tip start from 50% gray and then add in colors by changing the blending mode to either overlay or soft light. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really does help my channel grow. Also guys, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content and I've got the latest videos you can find just here. But until next time, guys, keep creating.